Happy Friday. Today, we are talking about Tierra's tips for mental health. Okay, so I don't know if y'all know, but my bachelor's degree is in psychology, so I definitely have um, an academic passion for psych- uh, mental health and things like that, but also I've dealt with mental health personally. So um, I've had chronic depression a majority of my life. Um, I've dealt with suicide. Um, sh- my first attempt was as young as seven years old. So one, please don't think that just because children don't pay bills, that they don't deal with sadness um, or depression or even suicide attempts. Um, So my attempts were at, I had an attempt at seven. I had um, ideations at both 16 and when I was in college. So suicide is a real thing, including for children. Um, So it's not age dependent. It's not that adults are the only one who are allowed to be depressed or anything like that. Children are hurting children are hurting. Um, So I wanted to take a few moments to discuss my tips for mental health from um, one, from an academic standpoint, like what I've learned, right? But then also from the standpoint of um, my experiences. So here we go. Tip number one is recognizing that we all have mental health. We We may not all have mental health problems, right? But we all have mental health. Just like we all have physical health, we have to recognize that we all have mental health. And you may not have a clinically recognized disorder, but you still go through things. Um, An example of that, right? So comparing it to physical health, you may not have cancer, right? But if you go into a, if you get into a car accident, and you have suffered physical damage, you would go to the doctor, right? But when we have car accidents mentally, so that may look like the loss of a child, that may look like um, the loss of a job, the loss of a relationship, that may look like um, financial struggles, like whatever that car accident is in your mental health, we have to address it with the same intentionality that we would If you started bleeding randomly and had no idea why, you would seek help. Why is it that we don't do the same when we start crying uncontrollably and have no idea why? Yeah. So we all have mental health. Every single person has mental health. It's our job to know where we are in our mental health journey in that given moment because it can change. It can ebb and flow so easily, right? And so when you're thinking about your mental health, I want you to think about developing a routine. What is your mental health routine and what does that look like for you? Now, I can't tell you what your routine will look like, right? But I can strongly encourage you to have a routine, have processes and systems in place to spend time focused on your mental well-being. I'll give you some examples. So part of my mental health routine includes being in therapy every week. I journal every morning. Um, I try to work out every morning. Doesn't always work out that well. But I do recognize when I'm consistent with my workouts, my mental health is a lot stronger. So coming up with that routine and making sure that um, I take one day off each week. So with everything that I have going on between the business and my sorority and coaching cheerleading and the nonprofit and life and friendships and family and everything that I have going on, I have to take one day a week to just be, to do nothing out of obligation, to just rest, to enjoy myself, to spend time with me. And having that rest day consistently allows me to have a stronger sense of mental health throughout the progression of the week. Next, I want you, tip number three, I want you to start to either build or enhance a very strong support system. Very strong support system. I want you to know and take notice of whose energy, like when I speak to this person, my energy goes up. When I speak to this person, my energy goes down. 
And what I did, I went through my phone and I said, I in their contact name, added a plus or minus sign. And it's not about, I can't talk to you if you drain my energy, right? It's about in that moment, when you call or text, it reminds me to take evaluation of my energy. Can my energy handle a conversation with someone who drains me? In this moment, right? In this moment, can my energy handle the weight of this conversation? Or the reverse of that, I'm having a bad, a bad moment. Let me reach out to someone who historically helps me feel better, right? Just take inventory. Just take inventory. And it uh, allow that information to um, help you develop your support system. Again, I'm not saying that it has to be a sense of like, if you drain my energy, we can't speak. No, that's not the case. But if you drain my energy and I'm already having a bad day, maybe today isn't the best day to talk. Or if I'm having a bad day, let me reach out to someone who has a habit of showing up for me, has a habit of benefiting my mental well-being. Step number four, listen to your soul. I literally had this moment this week. Literally. I historically take my day of rest on Sundays. um, And this Sunday, I literally did nothing. I'm sorry. I went to lunch with a friend. But y'all know how I love food. Y'all know I love food. So that wasn't work, okay? It was not work. Um, but I did, I just laid in bed. I slept in, woke up, ate, took a nap, went to lunch, came back, laid back down, watched TV, etc. Like I did absolutely whatever I felt like doing. But then Monday when I woke up, I was like, I'm still feeling drained. I'm still feeling drained. So I made the decision to take a day right? Um, And I don't have PTO. So for those of y'all who take PTO, use it. Personal time off. That includes mental health days. Use it. There are so many people who don't even, the end of the year comes and they have to like rush to use their PTO because it's use it or lose it. Use your PTO. If you feel like today's just not my day, Take a day for yourself. You're allowed to do that. Personal time off means you are allowed to take that time off for your personal needs. That should include your mental health. Absolutely should. And then step number, tip number five. Seek help. Seek help. I know therapy is not commonly talked about in the Black community. I know it's not something that we view as a necessity, um, but it is something that we do need. It really is something that we need. And the reality is a lot of the things that we've accepted as normal, particularly within our family dynamics, we shouldn't feel our normal. And a lot of us are dealing with PTSD, but we don't even recognize it because somewhere along the line, PTSD became a military thing. And it's so much more than that. A couple forms of PTSD that I've identified um, after what happened with Sandra Bland, right? After that happened, I started developing PTSD around police officers, She got pulled over for failure to use a turn signal, and that ended up being, call it what you want, I think she was murdered, but that ended up leading to the, the end of her life. Every time I use a turn signal, I think about Sandra Blaine. That is PTSD. We have to name it, and we have to deal with it. Another form of that is I like to run. Running is actually, like, if I have to work out, like, that's my favorite form of exercise. Um, And then you have Ahmaud Aubrey, who got shot running in his neighborhood. 
Like that's a form of PTSD. When I'm running in my neighborhood, I'm like, all right, let me make sure I stay on the sidewalk. But if I see somebody with a dog, let me get out their way because just in case they happen to have released the dog and then they say, oop, it slipped out of my hand. Or if I run out of sidewalk and I'm like, okay, let me run on the opposite direction of the street. So if I get hit by a car, at least they know I saw their car and it can't just run over me and then go on about their day and get away with it because I'm a black person in America. Like these thoughts are going through my head as I'm working out, which should be a release, right? So really understanding that even if you feel like you have not been through anything traumatic, just because you're a black person in America, we are dealing with a consistent level of PTSD. We just are. And so, and then not only that, a lot of us have a lot of weight that we're carrying. Like you need a safe place to take that weight off. Now, my recommendations are that you find someone that shares your race identity and shares your gender identity. A couple reasons why. And this this is my two cents. Take with it which won't, throw it away, move on, whatever. But from my perspective, there's nothing a black man can tell me about being a woman. And there's nothing a white woman can tell me about being black. There's just not. Um, And I've had white female therapists. I've had um, non-black women of color therapists. And I've had black female therapists. Um, I've not had any been therapists. I just... Just don't see the point, um, to be honest. But I've had the most success with black female therapists. And then the secondary level of success was with um, women of color, female therapists, non-black. So that's my experience. I feel like it removes the burden of translating. It removes the burden of interpreting right? You show up, not necessarily, you don't even have to have my same experiences, but you understand my perspective without the need to translate because you grew up either in the same environment or very similar environments. My suggestions, again, do with it what you will. (laughs) As always, Please, please, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and share this video with someone who needs this information. I'll go ahead and do a quick recap. Tip number one, understanding that we all have mental health, right? Tip number two, develop a mental health routine. Tip number three, build a strong support system. Tip number four, listen to your soul. And tip number five, seek as always, guys, if you if there is a topic you would love to discuss, make sure you drop it in the comments. Tierra's tips on. Let me know what you want to discuss. And please, please, please hit the subscribe button and follow me on all platforms at Tierra Nicole Riley. Thanks, guys. See you next week.